Okay, we've only got two days of the event left and I've got bugger all serum. I've still got 19 to go. Let's do it. Let's do this. Anyway, so you're probably wondering if you keep up with my channel that I said in the last video that today's video was going... was going to be the Shrine of Secrets for this week. <clears throat> I kinda didn't really want to do it this time around. Not, not today, anyway. I'll probably get it out tomorrow with any luck. Hopefully. But, um... I don't know, lately I've just been feeling Dead by Daylight just not doing it for me anymore. I don't feel the thrill that a horror game gives. I know that if you play this game too much, you definitely lose the horror edge. But, the biggest problem I've been having with it lately is that it's just been getting... boring. It's the same thing over and over, and I feel like I just need to branch out, try other things. So I think it's going to be the Shrine of Seekers video for this week. I might do one more One Perk Survive video this week, but that's pretty much going to be it for the Dead by Daylight content. I'm going to focus on other stuff. It has been a while since I've done a video game that's not Dead by Daylight. And it will just feel good to do something different. You know, like, I want to do other stuff. I want to do other things. You're not gonna, like, keep interest up if you do the same thing over and over. And I'm fully aware of this. I want to do other games. So, what I might do is I might end up, end up going back to Amnesia. Oh, fuck. Okay. Gonna do it. Yep. I'm gonna get smacked. That's fine. Uh oh, he's smart. Oh, he's really smart. I'm giving credit for that. That was really good. That was really good. How did he know I was there, though? No, oh, that's agitation and iron grass. Am I going on a hook? I'm going on a hook. Going on a hook. Yeah. Alright, I'm going. I'm going to the other side of the map. Good job, Jake. Proud of you. Oh, not so much. I'm going to get this vial filled and then I'm going to take care of business. Anyway. Yeah, so I might end up going back to Amnesia. Get some of the stories on that done. Um, why can I not heal? I, I literally cannot heal at the moment. I can't heal. What the fuck? Okay, looks like I'm playing this game without healing. This is strange. Anyway. So yes, I'm going to go back to finishing up the Amnesia Collection for PS4. Which includes the Machine Pigs and other stuff. Can I do it now? I can't heal. This is strange. Hey, can you heal me? Okay. Thanks, guys. You the best. Everyone's been hooked for Fang Min.
Alright. Well, this leather face isn't doing too bad. Oh, there he is. He's chasing the Jake, I'm pretty sure. Giving us time to do gens. Jake's not doing too bad. The Jake's not bad. But we've got three gens done. We need two more. On the other side of the map. Oh, he's determined to get this Jake now. He's got a hit. Oh, generator up here. I think he's after the serums too. Where's this Feng Min at? What is she doing? Oh, he's got barbecue. That's how he knows. Okay. I can get this heal off. Interesting. He's over there. Alright, Jake, if you get chased again, it's all on you, buddy. Or you can help me get this gen, maybe. I mean, we're already one survivor down. That went down really quickly. Fang Min's not doing as well as the Jake did. He was getting chased for a little while. Alright, I'm gonna go start working on another game over here. See if I can finish this gem before I go save her. This is nearly done. Oh, he's after the Jake. Sort it. Shit! Oh, I was coming! Sweet. Is Pallet still here? Coming, Jake. Hold the bus. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we gotta run, boyo. Is that me? Yep. Yep. Okay, he's 
just going around. That's cool. I don't think I've got any pallets, and he looks like he might have. No one escapes death. No. Ugh. He has it. He has it in. He's gonna look for me now. He's gonna look for Jake now. But it's fine if we lose. I've I've basically pipped. I've technically won. So. Oh, he's gonna use it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do the barbecue and chili. I'd get close, Jakey boy. Going for you. He's going for you. Quality Leatherface play here, boys and girls. At the end of the game, his chainsaw takes out multiple survivors, so of course he's not going to go too far. Of course, Jake's going to farm me. Oh shit! That's enduring! Ah, oh, whatever. I fucked up, I got stuck. Whatever. It's fine. He got his 4k. He did play a bit rough though, I mean, it was a very aggressive play. Very aggressive play. I have no problem with that though. Some killers are like that. I'm a very aggressive killer. I will admit this. I'm gonna. Agitation and Iron Grasp has been a very common combination to come up with. It's very, like, very well known that this is going to happen. It's just going to happen all the time. Until this event's over in two days, this is the combination I've come up against. More than anything else. But, yes, I'll go back into why I want to go play other games. So, like I said... I don't know, it just doesn't feel like this game does it for me as much as it used to anymore. Like, I don't get as much excitement out of it. It doesn't feel like I have to try anymore. Like, I, I just, I technically lost at the same time I technically won just then. Do I care? Not really. Because of the sheer fact that when you're a survivor, all you have to do is pit. You don't even have to survive to pip. Like, I got downed three times, and one of my medals was a silver as a result because of that. Because Unbroken requires you to be um, not downed at all during the entire trial. But if you... <clears throat> you basically just have to get a certain amount of these points. And... Like, for instance... Three silvers and a gold gets you a pip. You don't even have to do good in Lightbringer, or as good in Lightbringer, or Benevolent. But if you do just as well in the other three, in in three of them to get silver, and then get one just above, you get pretty... You can do all right. You do all right. And... Uh, that's one of the things. It used to be a goal for me to escape. Now my goal is to pip. Like, that's all I've been doing. I don't even care for Black Pip. Black Pip is basically a draw in skill. And Black Pips are fine. It's when you D-Pip that you technically lose. And that's the same with Killer. I don't have to do a 4K to get a Merciless Killer achievement. Or ranking for the game. I have gotten <clears throat> Merciless Killer without killing all four survivors. I have managed to only kill three of them and then one of them would get the hatch. That gave me Merciless. Um... An ultimate win on both sides is when every medal is iridescent, and that's perfectly fine. That is a lot of work, though, because you have to do everything. Like, if you are the one who carries the team, that's basically you getting an iridescent in all four categories. You do all the gens, all the saves, all the chases. If you do that, that's it. You are guaranteed iridescent, but you literally have to do everything. 
That's what pisses me off. And this guy's actually running not a bad build. Enduring with agitation, iron grasp, and barbecue and chili. I was able to tell what his perks were because of looking at that. Um, I knew he was running the fast charge because he's probably just sick of Leatherface's charge time. And, yeah. Um, another thing as well is when you... like, I've been doing a lot of research lately into all the killers. And my tier list is kind of nearly finished. I'm just working on a script now for the video. It's going to be like a 40 minute video. Max. I'm not going to go for any longer. It's going to be a really long one. It's going to be like a weekend project. But to the main point I'm going to um, put out there. When you do that so much. <clears throat> when you do so much for one game. Like let's be honest. I haven't really done anything else for this channel in a long time. I've basically just been doing Dead by Daylight content. I haven't done any more Kingdom Hearts stuff since um, 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep. And that was literally the last major series I've done. Dead by Daylight has now become the ma the next major series. And it's not even a story game. It's multiplayer. And that's what I'm missing. I'm missing story. I'm missing something to connect to. But lately I've just been feeling horror, you know? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do research into what good horror is these days. Like, I could go on Steam and get some indie horror games, and they do wonderful. Indie games have so much more love put into them than AAA. Let's be realistic. That's my view, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I love AAA games. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. I just prefer... If you are into a game for its story... Unless the game is all about that story, the game's going to be more focused on its gameplay. But indie games don't have as much gameplay, but they're very heavy story. They're very heavy stories. For instance, I was just watching Jacksepticeye earlier tonight, and I was watching his, um... I think it was the Watson test thing? I, don't, I can't remember. It was a recent horror game. It didn't have as much story, but it's gameplay alone was a story. It didn't give you a background. It gave you something that was right here and right now. Indie games are good. On a technicality, you could say Dead by Daylight started out as an indie game. Because how many people had heard of behavior before Dead by Daylight? I can admit I never had. And that's the sad truth. But... <coughs> excuse me. But being real... There is only so much a game can do for you when it is all you play. And I'm at that point where I'm pretty much ready to move on to something else. While Dead by Daylight is still going to hold a place in my heart, and I am still going to continue the series that I've got going for it, I'm not going to stop Shrine of Secrets um, perk builds. And I'm not going to stop the One Perk Survivor series until that is done. And the only time I'll touch that series again is when I have to either revisit a perk, like no one left behind, or, and this is a big one, when a new survivor comes out with new perks. Which is fair. <laughs> Can't really deny that. But, I don't know. This game is fun. But I want more. And it's just something I've been thinking about all day. Like, I have not touched my PS4 today. Because I knew if I did, I was going to record the Shrine of Secrets, and I just did not want to do it today. I'll be happy to do it tomorrow. Like, today could just be an off day. But if I'm having an off day when the only content I'm posting is Dead by Daylight, that means that I need to find something new. Like, we all know, and I'm already well aware of this, that if I go back to the Amnesia series, because I've only done the first game, I've not touched any others in that series yet, um, if I go back to the Amnesia series, I'm already extremely late to the party. It's the same when I did Outlast, it's the same as when I did Fear, it's the same when I did Five Nights at Freddy's. I need new horror, and new horror is hard to come by when you're mainly a console player. Console players focus more on AAA games. I'm not all about that, I'd rather focus on a lot of other stuff. And recording on my PC is a bit difficult at the moment because my PC's hardware is going out of date and I can't afford to 
like, because I need to build a new computer. I need to build a whole new computer because I've got, I don't have a built computer one I've built from scratch. I've bought this computer as it is. I can't take it apart and put new parts in it because it's an all-in-one computer, which is what really shits me off. And it's getting close to its three-year anniversary. Pretty sure it's getting close to its four, actually. When I'm thinking about it. I can't remember exactly. But it's hard to do every it's hard to do a lot of like unique content for console because console does not have a lot of unique content. And that's what really is my biggest struggle right now with being a content creator on a platform I don't even get paid for. So I'm not I'm not, not having a bitch I don't get paid. I I get it. It you have to earn it. And I don't do a lot of unique material for me to get noticed. And I'm aware of this. I'm getting older and I'm fully aware of this. It's just getting harder for me to find the time to focus on one video game. Whereas when it's something new, I make the time. Like, I'm a busy man. I've got... I'm a... I'm a higher up at where I work. I've got I've got a girlfriend I've got to worry about. I've got family I've got to worry about. And I go to the gym again because I wanted to get fit. I'm probably going to make a vlog about this and talk about it a little bit more in detail. But I'm more than happy to have a conversation with someone in the comments. Like, I'm not a very active person in the comments section because my comments aren't very active. But whenever I see something in there, if I feel like I need to respond to it, I will. If not, I will like everything. I will heart everything. Because I do care about you guys. <clears throat> just as much as I care, as I should care for myself. And I need to move on to something else. And this is not the end of Dead by Daylight. But I need to find other stuff. I hope you guys can understand. I mean, it's just a it's just a rambling from from me really. I'm just rambling tonight. I've had a long day. I've been thinking about it long and hard. I need to move on to other things. <sighs> All right, so that's enough of me rambling. If you guys have any suggestions for video games, if I can get to them, I will happy be happy to take your suggestions. Other than that, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to me rant, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video.